Hello everybody, welcome back to the 40k lowdown and today I'm talking about an issue that I think most people who play uh, pretty much any war game that you have to paint have and that is how to motivate yourself, motivate yourself to paint and how to manage the backlog of stuff you haven't painted. Um, so the first thing, obviously, the main thing is just to sit down and paint. Um, I mean, oh, it might seem simple but you, no matter how many tips or hints you get you're never going to be able to get your stuff painted if you don't just sit down and paint your guys. Obviously there are ways you can uh, help yourself to be able to sit down and paint and that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Uh, so um, the main thing I use to uh, keep us entertained when I'm painting is to listen to an audiobook. Uh, I've started listening to the Horus Heresy series on Audible. Um, Audible is quite good value for the number of audiobooks you can get for the price you pay. Um, and because I don't paint that much, um, like say if I get a, a 12 hour or whatever, however long a book is, I think the last one I listened, it was about 12 hours long. If you get that length of audiobook, that lasts me for a whole month and then I've got another one the next month. Um, so that the audiobooks really help me but I know other people like to listen to music or I do like to listen to a podcast sometimes. Um, but uh, if you don't, like, say you're, you're really just, yeah, you're not, you're not motivated to paint. Um, what I do in that situation is I do some basing. Like I'll, I'll stick some sand on or if I've, everyone's got their bases on, I'll uh, paint the, uh, the bases. Like I, I, on my guard bases I do grey, on my sky bases I do orange. Um, but that's it's really simple. It's not as intensive as uh, like doing some edge highlighting or something like that. It actually takes a lot of thought, and you've got to be think you've got to be like careful all the time. You can just slap the sand down and then dry brush it. Um, and then a, a way that I use to sort of visualise what I need to paint is that I put everything onto a spreadsheet. Um, so everything that I have that isn't painted is on a spreadsheet. With, along with how long I estimate it'll take us to paint um, and how like so then there's maths there that tells me uh, how long total I have to paint everything that I've got and currently for me that's like 150 hours and I, help, I think the spreadsheet helps because um, it te like helps me to break my painting down into chunks so like I'd like to get everything I've currently got unpainted painted by the end of the year and by knowing sort of vaguely how long I've got um, to paint I can sort of work out that I need to paint for about half an hour a day a bit less and I think that's helpful for me because I'm sort of numbers based um, but the people who aren't so numbers based and want a way to visualise what they need to do I would say you could put everything that you need to paint go out, take it out of the box it's in because if it's sitting in a box under your bed or in the basement then it's not really at the forefront of your mind, you're not thinking oh do all those things that are unpainted I need to get them done. You're looking at them every day and thinking oh they'd be great if they were painted and I think for people who aren't so numbers minded that would be really helpful for them um, but I do, I have to say most of my stuff is in a box. Um, because I don't really have enough space to have it out on shelves and other that would be an issue for people. That's why I use the spreadsheet method. Um, and another thing that is useful when you're doing a long uh, painting session is to just take a break, like um, just for five minutes in your like hour long or whatever painting session. Just like, go downstairs or whatever and have a cup of tea or just like walk around a bit and do something other than um, paint the model because it, it can get tiring which sounds stupid just sitting and painting obviously but you'll know what I mean that you can you, it gets tiring just sitting and painting for hours on end um, and another way that I take a break is that I'll actually paint something else because at the moment I'm doing guardsmen I've got 20 odd guardsmen that are unpainted um, so I'm trying to work my way through a lot of them um, and something that just helps to break up all the, the, like, the same thing over and over again is to do something else. So currently my do something else project is my Primaris army and like I find them more fun to paint uh, than my guardsmen. I don't even really play with them but I do like painting them. Um, so currently I'm doing my Gravis Captain 
which is sort of in between times when I'm sick of painting guardsmen's armour or doing their fatigues or something like that. Um, and I think that really just helps because you're still getting something productive done um, and it's a bit of a break from uh, your normal painting routine. Um, so I hope this video has given you a few ideas. I'd love to see your ideas in the comments as well. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you again next time.